You are listening to KSD podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about a deep view of the universe. Source for the content is Shobhik Das's article for the Mint. In July 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope, the biggest telescope in space, sent back its first set of images. The JWST surpassed the iconic Hubble's abilities using cutting-edge technologies to give us the farthest, deepest, and clearest views of the universe till date. Now, what did JWST see in the ancient universe? The JWST spotted identifiers of water along with clouds and haze in WASP 96b, a giant exoplanet bigger than Jupiter, about 1,150 light years away. Farther along, it spotted the death of a star called the Southern Ring Nebula, about 2,500 light years away. It also discovered mountains and valleys near the Carina Nebula, 7,600 light years away, a section of the universe that had never been seen. Next, at 290 million light years, is Stefan's Quintet, five close range galaxies. Finally, its headlining find is MAX 0723, the first deep field image captured by JWST of a cluster of galaxies 5.12 billion light years away. Now, how does JWST see all of this? The JWST uses a 6.5 meter mirror, the biggest telescope mirror ever to look deeper into the universe than ever before. Four spectrographs are used to record astronomical infrared spectrum since light moves from visible to infrared spectrum when it travels across millions of light years. A high-frequency radio transmitter is used to transmit this data at 28 Mbps, giving us about 57 GB of data per day from 1.5 million kilometers away. A machine learning algorithm called Morpheus then used the Lux supercomputer to analyze this data, classify galaxies and help researchers survey the farthest reaches of the universe. So how different is it from the Hubble Space Telescope? The Hubble Space Telescope, launched in 1990, is JWST's predecessor. JWST's mirror is nearly three times larger than Hubble, giving it greater visibility. While Hubble can only see the visible and ultraviolet light, JWST can see infrared. The JWST can see past the Big Bang. Now, did India play a role in the JWST project? No, but three Indian scientists are part of the JWST project. Lucknow-born Hashima Hassan is a deputy project scientist monitoring projects that will analyze the data the telescope relays. Kalyani Sukhatme, who grew up in Mumbai, is a project manager for one of the JWST spectrographs. Karthik Shait, a scientist in the Astrophysics Division of NASA's Science Mission Directorate, oversees projects that include understanding the formation, evolution and co-evolution of galaxies and black holes. Finally, can India also look for distant exoplanets? India does not have space telescopes like Hubble or JWST, while the country has multiple ground telescopes to study galaxy formation and evolutions. Spotting exoplanets which orbit stars far away requires greater precision. Mayuk Pahari, assistant professor at IIT Hyderabad, said that the Inter-University Centre for Astronomy and Astrophysics at Pune University is developing adaptive optics technologies that can help correct this limitation and enable exoplanet research. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSJ in our courses and to crack the ice exam, visit ksjna.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjna.com. Thanks for listening.